Here we have the Chicken Switch SPB1, which we will use to remotely actuate or push the trip and close button on this Westinghouse SPB100 breaker. To attach the SPB1, bring the bracket up to the protruding faceplate and you'll see that it fits right over that faceplate and the actuator lines up directly with the buttons. Flip the magnets down on the bottom and on the top and now the SPB1 actuator is securely fastened to the breaker. Good. So this SPB100 is currently in the open position. We're going to close it. In order to close it, we first need to charge the spring. Now the spring is charged. And I'll grab the chicken switch remote control. And I'll be back 30 feet. Uh, we're standing up close to it so you can see the buttons as they get actuated. Um, and I'm going to enable it, hold the enable button and close this breaker. Now if something were to go wrong downstream, I need to quickly reopen the breaker without walking up to it. I have the ability to, ability to do that. And that is remotely actuating the SPB 100.